Hey guys, welcome to SkyClan RC. Today we're gonna give some tips on soldering some of the commonly used connectors like the uh, XT60s and the Deans. So let's jump right into it. Soldering these connectors are a bit sketchy. If you overheat them, you're gonna have a melted uh, plastic and uh, if you underheat them, you're gonna have a bad solder joint, which increases the overall resistance and hence heating, heating issues. The most commonly used connectors are the uh, Deans, the XT60s and the XT90s, which can be seen in almost all the battery connectors. And the bullet connectors are commonly seen in uh, all the motors, uh, all the process motors wherein you can easily switch between the wires uh, of the ESCs. Before using the connectors for your application, make sure you go through the data sheet of the connectors so that you get the temperature range and uh, the current readings. Or else you are going to heat and melt the nylon plastics. The XT60s can handle up to 60 amps of continuous current as per the data sheet and any currents exceeding 60 amps can damage the connector. And make sure if you are using motors that consume more than 60 amps, it's better to switch uh, to a XT90 connector. Uh, XT90s can handle up to 90 amps of continuous current. So it's recommended to switch to XT90s for higher current applications. And if you're using some low current devices, maybe some uh, RC airplane with uh, standard motors, uh, so you can always uh, use uh, the Dean's plug or the T plug. It can handle up to 30 amps of continuous current. So it's lightweight compared to the XT60s and XT90s. So it's a better choice for low current applications. And for the motors, it's better to use these uh, bullet connectors. Uh, they are the same, same thing used in these uh, uh, XT60s, but the only difference is they don't have the plastic nylon plastic casing. And uh, you need to add some uh, shrink tubes uh, so that uh, you avoid uh, short circuit. And if you're using chorus motor devices, maybe a tiny quadcopter or helicopter, it's uh, preferable to use these uh, lightweight JST connectors. They are uh, meant for low current application. Before soldering, you need to have uh, necessarily some tools like uh, a station where you can hold all these uh, connectors in place. Uh, if you don't have them, you can always use your nose plier or a cutting plier. Make sure you add a rubber band so that you can easily lock up in place. And also it's better to have a wire stripper to uh, remove the insulation uh, easily. So now uh, let's uh, solder the connectors. So now let's solder the ESC wires to the XT60 connector. Make sure you apply uh, some amount of uh, solder onto the uh, ESC wires because uh, the factory uh, solder does not contain lead. We need to add some leaded solder so that uh, you get a proper joint. Then take some uh, shrink tubes and uh, pass it through the wire. Uh, we need this to shrink at the end uh, the, to avoid uh, open connections. And make sure you check the positive and negative on the return on the XT60 connector. You need to solder the red wire to the plus and uh, black wire to the minus. Hold the connector securely in between the nose plier and uh, heat the metal and apply some uh, solder. When heating the uh, solder, carefully pass the wire into the connector hole and hold it firmly until the solder gets dry. You need to have some shiny solder joints. Now get down the shrink tubes and uh, heat them to shrink it. And make sure you don't overheat the leads or else you're gonna uh, end up uh, the leads coming out of the plastic. So now if you have to change one of these XT60 connectors from the battery uh, to uh, if you want to change it to Deans. Just remove the shrink tubes and uh, keep on heating the uh, connector. And then carefully pull out the wire. Then make sure you add a piece of tape on the open end so that uh, you don't uh, you don't accidentally short the wires. So 
Soldering the beams are also quite simple. Just apply some solder on the exposed side. Get the wire in contact. Hold it until the solder turns to a shiny sir metal form. So you are done. Just uh, cover the exposed part with a shrink tube and shrink that. And uh, soldering these high gauge wires are a little bit sketchy. And apply a little bit of flux. It's not uh, necessary to add a flux if you don't have one. Now make sure you heat up the wire and then apply some solder. So your solder has to come like this. It's not more and it's not less. It's the exact amount what you need to solder the connectors. And also when soldering these uh, JST connectors, make sure you apply your uh, some fresh lead onto the tip and uh, then apply onto the uh, battery connectors. And when soldering onto the battery leads, make sure uh, your battery voltage is around 3.7 to 3.8. You should not uh, solder the battery leads when the battery voltage is uh, greater than uh, 3.8 or 3.9. The battery can catch fire. So soldering the JST connectors are that simple. Now let's solder these uh, bullet connectors onto the motor leads. Usually motor leads are uh, copper, copper wires that uh, come, come out directly from the windings. These motor leads have a bunch of uh, copper wires stacked together. So you need to remove the insulation of all and then solder them together. So even connecting these uh, bullet connectors are that easy. These are the pretty much commonly used connectors in uh, RC applications. So there are bigger connectors uh, though for uh, higher current applications as well. And uh, any questions uh, please let us know in the comment section below. Hope you guys like the video and uh, please consider subscribing to us for more content like this. Thank you guys. See you next time.